Oh! <laughs> I don't know what that was. All right, so this is special. I just came back from probably one of the most memorable trips, but also finishing off, frankly, was probably gonna be one of the coolest airplanes I think Flight Test has ever released, and that's the Corsair. So recently, thanks to you guys, the Flight Test family has grown amazingly large. And if you're new to Flight Test, first of all, welcome to the family, but also, we wanna let you know what we're about. We love getting people on the flight, whether it's entertaining content, whether it's free build videos, plans, we want you to defeat the laws of gravity in your own way, but also, we want you to share the hobby, we want you to enjoy the hobby, we want you and embrace the challenges and also the victories that this hobby brings. We love taking common simple materials and using them to basically break the laws of gravity. Uh, we use foam board, we use barbecue skewers, we use rubber bands, we use paint sticks, anything that you can commonly and easily get access to. Also we have currently over 60 different speed build kits and along with that free plans that you can download and build along with free build videos going step by step from raw materials all the way up to your first flight. We love breaking the boundaries that people may come up against whether it's economical or whether it's time and we really want to see people making memories and having fun with flight. Now one thing if you guys know anything about flight test is we love people, we love flight, and we love smashing the two together and this is no exception. Matter of fact this design came from one of our awesome community members John Overstreet and his son Jesse. So John and his son Jesse are two amazing individuals here and the cool thing is is they have a neat relationship. John is a designer, his son is the flyer. So he creates and builds and designs these amazing airplanes then he hands it over to his son and he flies. So recently John has just been awesome awesome on our forums and in contributing you know designs and and pictures that really inspire us but also our community so we reached out to him and he was kind enough basically to design something that we've been wanting to see for a long time and that is an F4U Corsair. Now one of our biggest desires and goals for flight tests is not just to have the people inside this building here contributing and designing models but actually to work with the whole community and one thing that made John stick out was that John valued uh, basically the experience both flying and building and also the techniques that you learn along the way. John brought such a unique set of skills into this mix with his ability to actually bend and form metal. John has a company called Core Art where he uh, artistically bends and shapes metal to make some of the most beautiful airplane sculptures I've ever seen in my life. And that's where we really noticed how crazy he was with, with making these beautiful ornate sculptures, but also his ability to take foam board and mold it much the same way as he bent metal. His approach to building an airplane was completely different than ours, but also his passion to make sure people have a good experience was exactly on spot with where our values are too. So what John did is he actually took his experience with forming metal and came up with his own techniques to design this Corsair. So one thing that's really important to us is we want people to learn common techniques so with our, our typical airplanes we have A folds and B folds and bevel cuts and techniques that carry through all 60 plus of our designs and will continue carrying on into the future with everything we design. The neat thing about John is he took his metal forming background and he actually has another set of techniques that we're gonna be calling our master series where instead of a plane folding together this plane's gonna mold together. Now just because because a plane molds together doesn't mean it's going to be hard to fly. What it is going to mean is it's going to be a very rewarding but yet challenging build that anyone can complete as long as they're willing to take the time and learn the techniques. So one thing I've never done is actually mold a plane together and John and his awesome family came down and we got to spend three or four days building Corsair after Corsair after Corsair making sure that the build was not only enjoyable but also very repeatable. During this time I learned so many new techniques that my whole, my whole world's been kind of blown up here with all the different possibilities of this amazing simple material can do. One of the main techniques that John does is actually shrinking and curling the foam and he does this by peeling the back side of our paper and then taking the foam onto an edge of a table and actually curling it and forming it and shrinking it. Now the cool thing about this foam is you can shrink it but you can't expand it like typical metal so John came up with a couple new techniques where he would seam pieces together and fold them to meet to make amazing compound curves. Along with our desire to make sure the build is repeatable and simple and approachable we also take the same approach with the electronics so we have something called a power pack. Now our power pack have different letters referring to a certain size and also the type of flight experience you're going to get all the way from A through F. This Corsair takes a power pack C which is going to give you awesome power, speed, and efficiency and also a couple with over 20 different other designs so when you're done flying the Corsair you want to build something new you can take these electronics and transfer it into another airframe. This basically makes getting in the hobby very easy with just a very few amount of purchases that it will also grow with you as a pilot and as a builder. We're going to put links down below but also make sure you check out and subscribe to our flight test tech channel 
channel. That's going to be where we have our build videos, where we have educational content, basically making sure that you have all the tools you need to have success in getting into the hobby. So flying the Corsair was an amazing experience here. I actually got to fly the final version when I took a father-son trip down to Missouri with John and we got to build and fly together. As a matter of fact, this blue Corsair was one that John was finishing on our way down there. So this FT Corsair is a four-channel CPAC powered airplane. That means you're going to have your ailerons, your rudder, your elevator, and your throttle, which is going to give you the ability to do all your aerobatics, scale flying, uh, and also give you full control just like if you're flying the real thing. Matter of fact, out of all the Corsairs I've ever flown, this has no bad tendencies. It's easy to hand launch, no torque issues, which is very common with this style airplane. With a 2200 to 2800 milliamp battery, three or four cell, you have plenty of speed and efficiency to have a great flight experience in about 10 minute flight times. So one thing that really stood out for me building this is it was not difficult, but it was rewarding. Uh, the, the time it took here and the satisfaction of molding each piece together and seeing how beautiful it looks and then remembering that it was basically just flat foam board just a few hours earlier was incredible. And then putting it up in the air and flying it, you don't need to be more than an intermediate pilot. And one thing I loved about this, whether you're hand launching it or whether you're landing it, most Corsairs have a little bit of a, of a torquey tendency. This plane had absolutely no bad characteristics. It was super easy to hand launch and incredibly easy to land. Even when we slowed it down and brought it to a full stall, it didn't have any bad tendencies and recovering was super easy and the torque didn't have any adverse effects. And speaking of flying characteristics, I have a battery in this ready to go. Let's take it outside and have some fun. All right, so never go out to fly by yourself when you head out to the field. So Josh, what do you say, man? How about I give you a toss? Let's have some fun. I'm gonna toss you a transmitter when we're up. All right, let's do Ready? it. <laughs> so here's, here's the crazy thing with this Corsair. I've flown a lot of different Corsairs and you always gotta have speed before you lift off. This is so light on the wing loading and so smooth, has no torque issues when you take off. Generally, that's when most people crash the Corsair. Yeah, it looks like it tracks real true. And actually, the original Corsair, uh, it had those curved wings because it needed the extra ground clearance to put the landing gear lower so it could fit such a big prop. It had such a big prop and such a big engine that the real Corsair had a ton of torque issues. <laughs> they had to bend the wings to basically make everything fit. Yeah, to raise the nose yeah. up higher off the ground to fit Ma the big prop. Matter of fact, the techniques that carriers they used to approach carriers was designed because of the Corsair because there's basically zero visibility until you got right before you touched down, so they had to make that sweeping arc. Yeah, just by holding the plane when I just launched it, like it definitely is super light. I've been flying around the Timber X, which obviously is a high energy plane, so it's a lot heavier with a bigger motor. Um, but this thing does not lack power, but it, no, al it is also not. very, very so light. So it'll that, lot That's not even full throttle. Oh wow, straight up. <laughs> so having the super light wing loading is going to give you a wide flight envelope and a wide flight performance. Um, it can go fast, it can go slow. Yes. Um, it doesn't have any bad stall tendencies. Yeah, on a three cell, basically you have a real intermediate, moderate flying airplane. It's gentle, it's smooth, uh, you can slow it down. But when you go ahead and put a four cell on this, you have all the speed you need. And uh, it takes out that scale realm. It's way faster than the scale speed. But I love the presence in the air. Um, have you ever seen like a lot of the, you know, uh, um, molded foam Corsairs, a lot of the yeah. molded foam Warbirds, they kind of fly nose high like they're getting dragged around by the prop. Yeah. I love how these fly real true. You know, it's kind looks of perky, great. just carves through the air. Honestly, I think that the speed you're flying right now looks nice and scale. A lot of times you see guys uh, who, who build up these Warbirds that go 120 mile an hour. And don't get me wrong, that's so much fun and it's exhilarating. But if you were to scale that speed up along with the plane to a like, one-to-one, -one, it'd be going like Mach 2. Yeah. So personally, when I fly Warbirds, I like to fly them just like the big ones. They're big and slow and lazy in the air. When you go to an air show and you see P-51s, they're big, long, graceful lines, and that's what this thing really excels at. You notice how quiet it is? It's beautiful. That yeah. radial motor sounds great. It's awesome. Yeah, so Alice just mentioned a radial motor. That's our new motor line here. Better bearings, better magnets, more power and more efficiency in a nutshell. We put over a year's worth of time into these motors and this whole motor line, and it's just awesome. All right, I'm gonna do a big lazy loop. I wanna toss it to you, man. Ready? Big lazy loop, Matty! <laughs> so from the air, you would not know that this is made out of foam board. And that's one of the things I just love about these new techniques that John brought. You wanna fly it? It's a work of art. I, I wanna build one just to put on my wall. <laughs> I don't even wanna fly it, it's so beautiful. It really does. 
Uh, it really does carry its momentum nice, it especially it penetrates like it's a lot heavier than it actually is. Yeah. It's really kind of crazy how smooth and slick it, it glides through the air. I think it's the molded wings, the fact that there's not those ridges. Those ridges give you extra lift, but what they don't give you is speed. Uh, they cause drag. So you have a very docile flying airplane with our, our swappable series and our, our previous designs. Uh, this is a lot slipperier. So if you put a really big motor on this, you're definitely going to get some speed along with it. amazing so much fun yeah. to fly so the cool thing about this is just because it's a more intense build and a more rewarding build does not mean it's going to be a hard plane to fly i talked about that earlier but i love the fact you can slow this down if you like warbirds but are really nervous about flying them these planes simply will not bite you one of my favorite all-time go-to first warbirds is the ft spitfire it's borderline a trainer in the air but it looks like a spitfire it's a great stepping stool to get up to something like this but also kind of get your feet wet with uh, getting to build uh, foam board airplanes okay so speaking of getting bitten i'm gonna try to put this thing in fair landing <laughs> i've never actually landed the corsair i don't think i think you'll be happy watch out for the cinder block <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> you keep pulling back and it just keeps it just nosing slowed. up and it's like I, yeah. I thought it was going to stall way earlier thanks to you guys that were even in a position to do stuff like this provide yeah. these free plans free build videos and even our speed build kits it's because a lot of you guys out there going out there not only just watching our videos which helps us a ton but also yeah. supporting us by buying and building these speed build kits it helps us out a ton big shout out to John this is a whole new chapter for us where we get to collaborate we've done this in the past with amazing uh, people from our community this is a whole new chapter for flight tests with these new techniques I cannot wait to see more Warbirds and more uh, Master Series planes coming out. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. Also, subscribe to our tech channel. That's where the build video for this plane is going to be, as well as all of our other tech and educational content. And we'll see you guys see next, next time. time.